Your Tuesday afternoon on-demand storm tracker forecast. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Kerr. We're picking up some scattered bands of snow, and it is having a minor impact on some, not all, mountain passes. At the 3 o'clock hour, it's impacting Georgetown Lake and Elk Park Pass, and even Butte picking up a little bit of snow. And we're picking that up here on our radar. Uh, you can see there's a tiny bit of a northwest flow. There's just a little bit of moisture in here, but there are some pockets of snow that could bring some moderate snow accumulations, lower visibility, snow covered in icy roads, uh, could be impacting I-90, I-15 as we go through the next several hours, but a lot of that should taper after midnight, and then we've got a bigger issue with clearing skies. will come some bitter cold temperatures into tomorrow morning, and that's exactly what our high resolution model is showing. Still some off and on snow showers up until about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight tapering rapidly after midnight and by early tomorrow morning under mostly clear skies there's going to be numerous reports of temperatures falling below zero but it's going to be a dry day wednesday a cold cold start to thursday and then we try and warm back up again a little bit into thursday afternoon then we bring a warming trend in here by the time we get into friday so forecast lows tonight single digits above and below zero for most valleys but cold prone areas like wisdom could be around 20 to 25 below zero and as you move to the south and east a little bit below zero for Big Sky, West Yellowstone 25 to 30 below zero. That's a strong possibility for overnight lows for tonight. And you could be back down there again by Thursday morning as well. But I've got a warming trend to share with you by the weekend. And we'll look into that tonight at 530 and 10 on KXLF and KBZK.